All right, this short video is going to go over price ceilings and which are binding and non-binding. So the first I'm going to show you is a binding price ceiling. So if the price ceiling is below the market equilibrium price, then what happens is this is the quantity the consumers demand. This is the quantity that's supplied. And generally there would be a shortage so the price would go up, suppliers would supply more, consumers would demand less, we'd get to equilibrium. But with the price ceiling, the price tries to go up and it hits the ceiling. So it can't go any further. So anything below the ceiling is allowed, nothing above the ceiling is allowed. So this is a binding price ceiling if it occurs below the equilibrium point. Now, what if you have a price ceiling at the equilibrium point? Then this one could or could not be binding. It's sort of indifferent because this is where the price wants to be anyways. So the price ceiling is basically saying, look, you can't go higher than here, but the market doesn't want to go higher than there. So anything at the price ceiling or below is allowed, and since the market wants to be at the price ceiling, it's fine. So I would generally call this a non-binding price ceiling. And then finally, what if a price ceiling is set above the market equilibrium price? Well again, anything below the price ceiling is allowed. And since the market wants to be at equilibrium, it will get there. So this price ceiling is non-binding. It's above the market equilibrium point, so it has no effect on the economy. So remember, price ceilings are only binding if they're set below the equilibrium price level. If they're set at or above, it's a non-binding price ceiling.